For over a century, there were thousands of sailing ships busily moving people and goods on the Great Lakes until they were replaced with modern motorized steel ships. Now, only one commercial sailing vessel from the Great Lakes Age of Sail survives, the Bayfield-built fishing schooner, the Helen McLeod II. Launched in 1926, she was built on the flats of the north shore of the Bayfield River by John and Louis McLeod, the sons of Hugh McLeod, one of Lake Huron's most well-known skippers and boat builders. John and Louis had built boats with their father and had inherited the skills to incorporate the best features of the classic Huron boat into a seaworthy 38-foot fishing vessel they called the Helen McLeod II. The Helen McLeod II has hull lines that make the heart of a sailor beat faster. She is a two-masted wooden fishing schooner whose lines evoke a Mackinac lumber hooker, except that she has a square stern for extra cargo capacity like most other Huron fishing boats. She was captained by Louis McLeod until 1945. Although she had an auxiliary engine, Captain Louis would never use it if he could sail. Under his skilled guidance, she earned the reputation as a fishing schooner and a heavy weather rescue boat that saved many lives. After suffering a stroke in 1945, Captain Louis could no longer sail his beloved Helen McLeod II, and in 1950 she was purchased by two Detroit historians. Louis was on the pier as she sailed out of Bayfield Harbor. In 1955, the Detroit Historical Commission's Museum of Great Lakes History rebuilt her. Then she changed ownership a couple of times until in 1996, the badly decayed Helen McLeod II returned home to Bayfield. She was donated to the Bayfield Historical Society on the promise that someday she will be restored. The Society has her protected from further deterioration while a financially sustainable long-term restoration program is developed. Ultimately, like the Blue Nose II, the Helen McLeod II could be a wonderful way to honor the past and celebrate the beauty of Lake Huron's east coast. Every year, members work at the Society's Collector's Exhibition in April and at the annual Thunderbird Car Reunion in July to raise money to keep the dream alive. Hundreds of Huron boats worked our Great Lakes, and now there is only one left, Bayfield's Helen McLeod II.